Hey YouTube, you have Leonard here. Green guys and gals, Windbreaker, we're here, we're live, episode number 10. We're gonna hop into this reaction, everybody. We're just talking about the last episode over on the Twitch side. And of course, follow me on Twitch, link the Twitch box down below. We're doing all my live reactions, we're having a good time here. All the live reactions are done on Twitch. Um, I'm gonna address this high level for the greater YouTube audience, and I apologize that I'm a little bit late with regards to this reaction. But basically what I want to say here is I've kind of like fleshed this out a little bit is that I'm realizing that there's a segment of the population, not my viewers, at least to my knowledge, or at least the comments I read on my videos, everyone's generally fine the last episode. But it seems that in the community, there's a lot of people who watch Windbreaker, or at least I shouldn't say a lot. There are people who watch Windbreaker who are not happy with the developments of the last episode. Um... Apparently, there are individuals who are just like, oh, well, the fight didn't really even happen. Umemiya didn't really end up fighting. It was just like taking Choji's hits. And it's like, Choji ends up getting converted and blah, blah, blah. Naruto talked no jutsu. Um, and I guess with all of that, what I want to say is that I think what I appreciate about Windbreaker, why it's currently one of my favorite anime of this season, is that Windbreaker's done a great job of giving me eight or probably S tier, honestly. I'll say A tier. A tier art and animation with the fights, the choreography, while being much more feeling than I thought it would be. I thought this would be like a generic shonen, quite frankly. High school kids fighting, this, that, whatever. And what I've gotten from this show, especially over the last couple episodes, is something very deep. It's showing actual real people. And I think for individuals who look at Choji, it's just like, well, Choji, Choji shouldn't be redeemed. And Choji bit his neck. And Choji's crazy. I'm like, well, yeah, Choji is crazy. These are high school kids, guys. And I know it's an anime. And again, one of my issues with Shonen sometimes is the over-exaggeration. Just to me personally. Of fights and villains and things like that. And I get that's the genre. In the real world, and while anime is not the real world, I do appreciate as an older person... Sorry, look at some of my chat. As an older person, I appreciate things that come off feeling very real, where I can connect with the emotions. And I think with Windbreaker, it's like, yeah, a lot of people typically are not just inherently evil. Now, there are people who are just absolutely bad. I get that. But when we're talking about high schools in particular doing gangs and things like that. A lot of this for me is just like, yeah, these are individuals who have taken some missteps. By the end of the day... Choji was a normal person, normal, who was with his friends and enjoyed a good brawl and call it a day. And then Choji got to the top, he psyched himself out mentally, and he lost his mind. And Togame failed him as a friend because he didn't do anything. And Umemi was just like, you need to be talked to, you need to be reasoned with, or be down to be reasoned with, because you've lost your essence of like why you even fight. Why even do anything? And I thought that was so powerful to see him realize as he's doing the stuff. It's just like, I'm miserable. Why did I get here? I, I thought it was beautiful. So for everyone who hates on Choji, Choji's not a bad guy. By any stretch of the imagination. Hold on, my thing is like, I have to restart my thing now. Oh, shoot. For anyone who doesn't know, the Crunchyroll episodes give me some issues. Hold on. But basically, Choji's not a bad guy. Choji's someone who's misguided. He has mental issues. He needs help. And he's finally on the path now to being better. But that was just my mini rant I wanted to give. I know it was like, it was like three minutes of me just talking about this. But I didn't get a chance to really give my thoughts on this. I didn't realize where people were going with it after last episode. So if you're someone who personally was upset with Choji being talked to and coming around, I mean, fine. That's just something you're not into. It's fine. Go watch JJK. As far as I'm concerned. It is what it is. As For me, this series... It goes beyond just the fights. It goes beyond just your typical character development within the frame of heroes and villains, antagonists, protagonists. This is real stuff. These are people who have real connections with individuals and are fighting for something. And that's very gray. And life isn't black and white all the time. There's a lot of gray in life. And I appreciate that. Anyway, that was my rant. I am done. Um... Yeah, I think people in general just don't like talking sometimes. And I'm like, that's sad because I think the talking is the best part of what's happened here. Like, this show for me evoked a lot of emotion the last couple of episodes because I really got into the psyche of the characters, and that's hard. I think it's hard to make characters feel so alive 
and you realize the choices that they've made, the mistakes that they made, and when you're doing things, this works in real life as well, sometimes you make a mistake and you just keep going. You just keep going down that path and you don't really know how you got there, but this is where you are. And to have that sense of retrospective where it's just like, ah, this is where it went wrong and ah, this is what I did wrong. Oh, that was beautiful. And then you change. You can be better for it because of that. Anyway, I digress. Let's hop into this episode. Everyone smash that like button. It's greatly appreciated. Again, I apologize for my five minute rant. I think it was necessary. I need to get all that off my chest. Because I do feel very strongly, and again, Windbreaker for me, for those who are Windbreaker fans, this is literally, for me, one of my favorite anime of the season. It's definitely my favorite original anime. Yeah, this is my favorite original anime of the season, personally, right now. Easily. Not original, but you know what I mean. Like, non-season two, season three. Like, for a first core, like, this is amazing. We're going to begin. We're going to start in five, four, three. Never mind. My timer does not want to work. Come on, timer. You're just working before. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, what's up, League? What is up? What is good? Welcome to the stream. Remember, it's just like, all right, guys, get out of here. He's like, yo, get out of here. Be gone. <laughs> yo, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> Go, Joe. Yo, Umemi a grid better than Gojo. Tell me I'm wrong. This is the character that Gege wanted. I, I, I'm not going to spoil things for people who watch JJK, but this is exactly why Gege feels how he feels about Gojo. This is exactly why. Umemiya is the character that Gege always wanted. Alright. For those who get the joke, you get it. For those who don't, read the manga. Uh, yes, the tournament arc is now, I believe, officially finished with the conclusion of last week's episode and the very beginning of this one. And now, One Piece style, we have a party. Because that's what we do. By the way, is this two cores? Or is this going to end by like episode like 12, 13? Is that the meme is not pretentious? Kind of angry? Well, that's what I'm trying to say. The general joke in the fan base is that Gege actually hates Gojo's character. So my joke is that obviously being voiced by the same voice actor and kind of looking similar with the white hair, Umemi is like what Gege always wanted. So it kind of makes sense. He's the exact opposite. <laughs> I think all of us are. I think anyone who's up to date is fully convinced that he hates Gojo. If you had any doubts, again, read the manga, guys, please. Anyway, I'm sorry. Back, back, back to Windbreaker. I'm done. No more, no more JJK talk. I apologize. By the way, guys, I changed the layout because my other layout was not working. Just as a heads up. Karage. Umai and Goku. What? Why not? Time out. You gotta squeeze the lemon on the karage, man. It tastes good with the lemon. What? Watch him. He bit him. The man literally bit his neck. I can't. Haruka's so upset. Sakura's like, man. Jogame. 
Get on your knees and apologize. Not entirely wrong. But to be fair, Togame, it's actually... It's actually really Choji's fault, even though you enabled it. It's actually not your fault. Good stuff. Oof. Oh, that's powerful for Sakura to decide. Oh, this is powerful. Soccer is so conflicted, it's ridiculous, it's crazy. Exactly. Don't make me cry anymore. I refuse to cry anymore. Come a cool guy. The fact that his neck is still bandaged, though, man, just hits me. <laughs> That's not wrong, James. You're not wrong. Bro, Chosen's about to be like, all right, so be at the top means I get all the food. This man's Luffy. Yeah, the shot from last week's episode, I was like, that's literally electric chair status. They knew what they were doing with that sound effect. Umemi is actually Luffy confirmed. Have a party and just eat. Good life. Umemi's dream is a dream where everyone has food. Yeah, good point. How old is Toga, man, actually? I said high school before, but that's a good point. Is he even in high school? <laughs> Sakura's just like, I'm over this. Sakura's just like, yo, I'm so over this. <laughs> Protect my friends. I'm hungry now. Bro, if he's actually 25, I'd die. I'm so hungry. Oh, he's 17? So he's in high school. At least 17. You listen to Asakura. He wasn't aiming for the top. It just happened. I'm sorry, guys. Umemi is literally my favorite character. Exactly, because he's just like Sakura. And the way he even deferred to him, he's like, Sakura, I know what you're about. This it ain't the way. You aim to be the top, you end up like a Choji. You don't aim to be the top. The people put you on top. Exactly. 
Exactly what I just said. The people are the reason you're at the top. The people put you up there. It's not something you do on your own efforts. That you just do because you want to be the top. Man, let me have a president. Make this man the president. Good man. Ah, I love this. Keep talking to Sakura. And that's exactly what he meant. That's exactly what he meant. Aw. Just kids, guys. Just kids. Yo, Sakura wants to try and get first. No, he's going to get wrecked. That thing's been beat up <laughs> along with you. Aw, man. <laughs> Yo, man, I want Ark. I want Sakura to go train under Togami to become stronger. I want that. I want a training arc. Let's make a blush count for Sakura. I'm down for that. Blush count is one. It's currently one right now. It isn't. You're going to have to work for it. And that's the beauty of this, by the way. You gotta change. You gotta change and make sure everyone sees. Gotta go. Hey, Emmy, take care. Have a good one, man. Have a good one. And look at their hands. This is so good. You guys have to reform the group and just try to do things the right way. And change it for the better. Mm-hmm. I love this so much. Togame? Oh. Tears. Happy tears. Choji. I love Togame so much. For those who don't realize on the YouTube side, like my, um, this is my start screen. It's Togame over here. Oh, shit, I just lost where I was. Togame is my go. I love Togame. Togame. The sun? Okay, yeah, definitely. Send me the page after. Look at the boss walk. 
Did you win? So cool. Such a good man. We return. Kota don't want you. I'm still shook that Kota's a high schooler. <laughs> he didn't even break a sweat. So literally was just like easy. Easy clap for for Sewell. Yo, what's gonna happen though if Sakura takes Kota from um from Umemia? Dang! <laughs> he was just like, yo, I'm over this. Nah, man, you coming back? I'm gonna learn today, boy. I'm gonna learn today. Hey, a crush is a crush. What is wrong with these people? Oh. Yeah, Kotar is doing nothing, man. He just stays silent. It's good. He gets a break after <laughs> Bokuyaba. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Dang. I mean, no, no, Umemi, it's not your fault. You gave him a very normal explanation. Soccer is the one who's an idiot. If you like her, ooh, <laughs> on his face, bra, bra, in his face, Sakura, you smog. It was super effective. Oh, yep. Blush cow number two. Aww. Aww. It's like we got another good person. Yeah, it makes a lot more sense, honestly. And soccer's just like I can't process emotions.
It's like so. I hope you know it. Yeah, but Sokka's been through a lot of trauma, to be fair. Like, everything he's learning at Fooding goes completely against what he's learned. But as I said, Sakura would be going on the Choji route, basically, if it wasn't for Fooding. I can never be on the top. Uh, bro speaks. I'm kind of on the blush count. Says number three. No, okay, that's actual real three. That's number three. Conditions. He's like, oh. Mm hmm. First step. That's a good point. He's like a male student and it's very rare to see. I think it's a personality thing, honestly. That's why. Aww. Blush count number four. I love this man. He's about to fight. He's angry. Can we not do this now? Honestly, no one messes with Kotaha. No one messes with Kotaha. Ah. Never good episode. Do I have a post credit? Of course you don't. No. The true Bofordun leader revealed. Who? Kotaha? Is Kotaha the true leader? Because no one beating her. Including Umemiya, by the way. Umemiya can beat her. Oh, my guys, Give me one second. Hold on. Un momento. I'll see the ending skit. Dang, I used to skip the ending skit, but never mind. Oof. Man, I'm gonna miss Toga Man the crew. I keep saying it's Kotoha. No one been listening. Of course. She's number one. I mean, he's just like, yo, so you finally realize the true leader is. Of course it's Kotoha. I mean, honestly, he probably would. He would try. He would fail, but he would try. 
Oh my gosh. Anyway, guys, we're done here. Good episode. Very enjoyable. Um, again, I apologize for my rant in the beginning. It is what it is. But I enjoyed this episode. It just reconfirmed it for me again. Like, this series, the emotion, the feels, they do it so well. It's very enjoyable. I come away from this episode just feeling happy. I feel happy for what's happened. So this is good. Anyway, guys, like the video, subscribe, like my content. Greatly appreciate it, as always. And with that, I'm Leonard and I'm out. Take care, everybody. And of course, have a good one. Peace.